In this video, I'm going to show you how you can post on multiple platforms with a tool that is very easy to use. So if you just happen to be an entrepreneur, a social media manager, a marketing expert or a marketer, this video is for you. The tool that I'm going to show you today is called Metricool and this is a tool that allows you to post on every social media platform. So if you want something that will allow you not to go on every app and post on the go, but just have one place where you you can gather actually all of your DMs from all of your social medias and also a place where you can put all of your content, whether it's video, photos, text, and you can actually organize yourself to post on multiple platforms at once. This is the platform that you need. If you want to create a new content, it's either you click somewhere in the calendar or you just drag and drop the content inside a metrical. So I'm going to click the next day over here. It's going to open a pop up for you to start to create your content. So here I'm literally going to write, you know, nothing just to give you an idea. And I'm also going to drag and drop an image or a video inside of it to show you how it will appear. So how do I do that? I simply drag and drop a document, a photo, a picture, a PDF inside Metrical. And as you can see here, it have uploaded the video. So I just want you to see how it appear if you're creating, for example, a TikTok or a Reel or a post for LinkedIn. So here you will have all of your copy from your content. That will be the caption section. And then just on the top over here, you have the icons of the different social media. So here you can select on what social media you would want this post to be scheduled in. As you can see, I have selected Facebook, Instagram Reels and LinkedIn. So that will be the three platform where I want this video with this content to be scheduled on. So if you click on a social media that have multiple format of content, you can actually select it just near the logo. So near Facebook over here, as you can see, you have the option to select post, reel or story. Same for Instagram, you have post, reel or story. If I select YouTube, you have the option between short or long form videos. I mean, now you understand how it works. So I have selected also YouTube and guess what? Let's say that I want to schedule that post. I have actually written my copy over here. I have drag and dropped my video. If ever you want to select a cover, you just have to click over here and you go on select cover. And here you will have the chance to actually select a cover from the video. So the only platform that allows you to select the cover for videos is LinkedIn right now. So if you go to the three dots and you go to upload video thumbnails, here you can actually drag and drop a cover for your videos. Other than that, for the other platform right now, you don't have that option. So below the content over here, you will have multiple icons. So here is the add multimedia, which is add any content that you want. So you can drag and drop just like I did, or you can click on one of those and actually grab the video, the image, um, you know, the PDF, your GIF from your computer directly. Here is just an icon for you to be able to add emojis to your text. Here, I really love that feature. It's allowing you to actually add the first comment under your own post. So instead of scheduling your content and having to go back to your social media and writing a comment, let's say a lot of people, for example, on Instagram, love to add a bunch of hashtags on the comment section and not inside the caption. This is where you will be able to add them. Or if you wanna have a first reaction or say something to your audience and be the first comment, this is where you will put it. I really, really love you know, that feature because on LinkedIn, for example, there is a lot of time where people are doing an amazing post and you're telling people, if you want the link, if you want the access to the webinar, if you want the resource, make sure that you visit the comment section. So you can actually also plan that first comment with your content here. So for people that are having businesses that are a little bit more advanced, if you're playing with URL, like UTM URL, and you want to track, you know, where are people are coming from, this is where you can create actually UTM linked. 
and you will also have the choice if you want to to use AI if ever you are not feeling inspired I know that most people use chat GPT but just in case you don't want to get out of metrical you still have the option here and then you can also save a bunch of hashtag in advance and group them so this is what I do to save a lot of time and to be efficient when I create my content so now, as you can see, because I've selected YouTube on the bottom in red, here I have the reminder. So it's just telling me that I am missing few information before Metrical can be able to post the content. So because I've selected YouTube, you know that on YouTube, you have to put a title on the video. So it will tell you to add actually a title for your short or your long form video. So here it have kind of recorded some of the titles that I have already um, you know, used in the past, but you can write your own if you want to. And you also have to specify your audience configuration that is um, you know, new on YouTube. You have to specify if this content is made or not made for kids. So in my case, because it's all about business, I'm gonna add not a video that is made for kids. Here you will have the option to keep your video private, unlisted, or public. As you know, it's kind of the same features that we find inside YouTube, but you have them here on Metrical. And then you can use your category. So whatever you're doing in your business, if it's sports, gaming, business, travel, you just have to select it here. And you can add some tags to help with the rankings. Once you've done, you can click here directly schedule and it will schedule the post or you have another option is to save as draft if you're not done yet and you want to come back to improve your copy or do anything else or you can publish it now. So, and then here you can select the time and the day you want to schedule that post. So remember, our goal is to actually post on multiple social media at the same time. So I'm going to activate post on Facebook and short on YouTube and let's say that I'm gonna also activate Reels on Instagram. So this same content with the same caption and the same video will be posted on those three platform schedule at the same time. I'm gonna click on schedule and it's gonna take a few seconds but what it will do is make sure to register your information and to schedule the posts. So now if I go back to my calendar, I can see the post that I've just created that is actually scheduled for tomorrow. And on the top corner, I have three different social medias, which is Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So this is how you can post on multiple platform at the same time with the exact same content, caption, videos, or visuals. But I see you coming, Ashley. How do I do if I want to change the caption for LinkedIn or for Instagram? I want the content to be the same, but I don't want the caption to be written the same. In this example that I just showed you, the same caption and the same videos will go to the three platform. What do you do if you want them to be separated and you want actually to work specifically on modifying the caption so the content can be kind of the same but it's not built the same well to do that it's simple you can click on your content that you just created and all you will have to do is to click here edited by network so if you click on this button here it's gonna give you the option to edit your content specifically for one platform that way you're able, for example, to take a long form content like a video YouTube that you are going to cut into a reel and then a short and then a Facebook post. And you want to make sure that the caption is different because you don't want the caption to be exactly the same on all of your social media. This is how you do. You just click on edit by network. When you click on edit by network, you will have different tabs. And those tabs represent the different social media that you have selected on the top. So here is the template of my caption, which don't, please don't, don't look at it. It's just an example. But if I want to go on Facebook and edit the content, you just have to click here. And now you're able to add something different for the caption on Facebook. So I'm going to add a little emoji. We're going to go here. And then I'm going to add more text. 
and then I'm gonna go to the caption on Instagram. You just click on edit content. And as you can see here, what I've added to Facebook doesn't appear here because that is the section specifically for Instagram. So you can change maybe, you know, the first sentences to grab more attention and differently because you know that people react differently. And then on YouTube, I'm gonna edit it and I'm just gonna remove something. So now the caption have been edited differently for each social media. Mind you, you're also able to change the video or the content if it's a photo or slide. You will make sure to change that if you don't want it to be exactly the same on every platform also. I prefer to work like that because I just batch content and then I repurpose. I love to create my main content on YouTube and then I create some shorts. And those shorts videos, I just repurpose them on Instagram or TikTok. I don't spend my time creating specific content to every platform because I don't have a team. I am almost by myself and it's already hard like that for us entrepreneurs to create content. But hey, if you are an agency, if you are a content uh, creator, if you're a social media manager and your role is actually to create you know, performing content for each platform, go for it and change the content for each platform. And this is why I really love Metrical. It's because you can actually just post at one time, but on multiple platform and save a lot of time. You will have the preview on the side. So this is how the YouTube short will appear. And as you can see, we have um, the title, which I also like because you're able to see if your title over here is not too long for your shorts. It does look the same if you select TikTok. I'm gonna select TikTok because I'm pretty sure that some of you are curious also about TikTok. I can edit it differently, the caption. And also you will have the limitation of TikTok over here that is specific to TikTok because we already know that the caption on TikTok, for example, versus on YouTube, we don't have the same, you know, spaces. So here is the preview on TikTok with all of the details. You will have also the bottom menu of TikTok. Here is the preview of your reel and how it will appear on Instagram. And here you have your preview of your Facebook post. So now in the bottom, you'll notice that now it says schedule four because I have four different posts. So I'm gonna click on schedule. And as you can see, it has created four different sections, four different posts. So all of them are scheduled for the same time, but if ever you also wanna sprinkle them and don't post them at the same time, all you have to do is to grab the content and then just put it wherever you want on the same day. Or if you change your mind, so for example, the YouTube post is gonna be Thursday, so one day after, and then TikTok post is gonna be on Friday, you can move around your post. So see how it works. It's very easy with Metrical to actually repurpose your content and post at once in multiple platform. I have something better for you guys to complement this video and to help you with your journey of building your funnel the right way. If you wanna know how to create a social media strategy, a marketing strategy, to actually be more effective when you are posting and how to organize your content and your content ideas, please watch those two videos over here because they're made in complementary to this video. Because it's one thing to have tools, but if your system is not good, if your strategy is not good, it doesn't matter what tool you are using, you're not gonna be effective. So make sure to watch those videos over here and I will see you on the next video. Bye.